Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. I'm starting today's shave with the Parasso White Pre-Shave, which I shall rub in in a minute or two. The razor today is the Wilkinson Sword Classic. Um, you can see the Wilkinson Sword logo on the top cap there. This is a, this is a plastic razor. It's a two-piece razor and there's metal in the handle just to give it some weight. Uh, no overhang on this razor, it's all enclosed, the top cap, um, and you screw the handle and the top comes off like that. And inside there I have a Paul Silver Super Iridium, extra stainless. And you just pop the razor back on there and screw the handle down and there it is. And there's the box for the Paul Silver blades. So that's the razor. Very safe razor, very mild. Well, not very safe because it has a it has a sharp razor blade in it. So it's not very safe, but it's a it's a very mild shaver. Uh, a nice razor for beginners. I'll just let you have a look at it there. So there's metal inside the the plastic handle. Um, yeah, it's a nice razor. Gives a mild shave. But very good. So I'll just put that in the water. The brush for today is the Samoog 610, the little blonde bore brush. And I've had that soaking, so I'll just put that back in the water. Uh, the soap for today, Razor Rock for New York. Um, I've had this, I think I've had this since Christmas and I've never used it. Christmas last year, I think I got it. Um, and I've never used it yet, so I thought I'd give that an outing today. And I've had the puck blooming, so I'll just tip the bloom water out and show you the soap. Uh, there's the soap there. The beautiful aquatic citrusy scent. And for those of you that want to see the ingredients on the bottom, not really much to it, but I'll let you have a look. Okay. So what I'll do now is I shall just wet my face a little bit and apply to the Parasso White Pre-Shave. Okay. Yeah, just making sure that's uh, rubbed in nicely to the, the beard and um, there is a little bit of menthol in that in the white, the Parasso uh, sensitive. So it's a, a nice cooling feeling on the face. Okay, here's the soap. As you can see, it's been bloomed. Uh, the brush, I'll just squeeze out the water and we'll start to load the soap. Razor Rock soaps are quite soft anyway. Um, you can easily push your finger into them and stuff, but um, this is loading up quite nice, loading the brush. I'm just going to load the hell out of it. I like um, Razor Rock soaps. They're not the best soaps in the world, but um, for the price point that they're at, you can't beat them. Uh, you can pick these up on Italian Barber for, some of them are three dollars. I don't know, four, four, five, six dollars. Usually about three, four pounds. And I have Plenty of such there. And this little bore brush is fantastic. Um, I've been using it quite a bit and it's just nice and soft now. As soft as a badger, I would say. Not a live badger, a badger brush. <laughs> I'm just working the soap into my bristles. Yeah, it's a nice, um, it's a kind of an aquatic, uh, little bit of citrus in there as well, I would say. I'm just dipping the tips just to get some moisture into this. Well, it looks like a nice lather. Nice and creamy, just the way I like it. Some people prefer to have it a more kind of thicker, pasty lather. Um, if you've ever watched Paul H videos, which I'm sure you guys have, 
he likes a quite a thick lather. And just dipping the tips again, I prefer mine just a little bit more moist. But everyone's different, and whatever works for you is good. Okay, that looks good. How's everyone doing? All good, I hope. I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. And hello to any new subscribers that are just watching for the first time a Kevy Shaves shave video. Nice to have you along. And hello to my usual suspects. <laughs> okay, let's get the shave on. And although this is a a very mild razor, it still needs to be treated with respect. And the thing about it is because it's a, a closed cap, it has to be rinsed probably more, more than you would a normal razor. That's a, that's a nice razor for beginners. Very good. Or even a, a seasoned veteran, which I wouldn't put myself in that category just yet. <laughs> I would still say I'm very much learning with each shave. Very nice. Nice blade, this um, Paul Silver. And I think it was uh, one of my regular viewers and commenters, Shavathon, who recommended me trying the Paul Silvers. I knew I had them, but I can't remember if I've used one before in a, in a video. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying the Paul, sh the, the Paul Shaves, the Paul H thing of just doing the double chin so it gives me a nice line because if I do that, you can see my jawline curves in, making it more difficult to shave under there, so... If I do that, I get a nice clean line. And again, like I said before, even though this is a mild razor, no pressure whatsoever. Don't apply any pressure. Just let the razor and the blade cut the whiskers. Because if you do, apply pressure, that's when you start to get irritation. And this is a wonderful soap. Very nice. And uh, I'm just going this way. This is my little trouble spot, as most of you know. And as you can see, there's a hair from the brush there. And again, with this side, I'm trying the double chin thing to just to give me a nicer line. Okay, that is the first pass done. And that feels incredible. I will just rinse off and I will come straight back. Okay, and for pass number two. With the Razor Rock for New York soap. And um, yeah, there was another reason I wanted to use this. I'm um, myself and Mrs. Kevy are heading to New York in a, a week or two uh, for a holiday as part of our 25th wedding anniversary celebrations. We're going to spend some time in New York and then we're heading down to Florida for some sun. 
so that should be fun so that's why I wanted to use this soap as well okay second pass across the green And for anyone new watching, the reason I puffed my cheek out was just to make the skin a little bit more taut. Uh, just to, to make the razor glide over it a bit more. I'll show you on this side. See if it's like that, it's uh, quite loose, but if you pump it up, the razor will shave um, closer on your skin. Just a little tip, a little tip. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to visiting Pasteur's pharmacy when I get to New York to um, pick up some shaving stuff. I've been to New York before, but um, it was a few years back and I wasn't really into shaving at that time. I'm just going uh, with the grain here again on this pass. I keep forgetting that you have to really rinse this razor quite a bit. Yeah, so if um, any of you guys have been to New York, and if so, did you visit Pasteur's, what did you think? It's the mecca of wet shaving, isn't it? Um, second pass done, amazing. Not really much left, just that list of I just missed a little bit there. Okay. I'll just rinse off and I will come straight back. Okay, we're back for pass number three. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, if you guys can see this, if this will focus, there's quite a bit of residual soap in the puck, so I'm just going to take some of that out in the brush and put some more in because that second pass lather was quite, there wasn't that much, so I'll just apply, get some more soap on the brush and go for the third pass, that's better. Just dip the tips a little bit, yeah. Soap's very, very cheap. Um, some people have commented on a couple of my videos My goodness, you load the brush for so long, why do you need that much soap? I don't know, because I like to use soap <laughs> um, Soap's very cheap uh, And the amount of soap I have I'll never use it all Never, ever <laughs> Even though I shave every hour, I don't think I would use it a lot for the rest of my life. Okay. Third pass against the grain. soap actually I'm uh, really enjoying using it it's a nice scent they also have one called for Chicago I don't know if they were made for um, meetups and stuff but If someone knows, let me know. 
where the uh, where the Razor Rock for Chicago and for New York were they made for um, particular meetups with wet shavers or were they just they were just made they've been out for a while I think the, the, the New York and the Chicago one so they may well have been made for meetups in the past I don't know I'm sure someone will comment and let me know because this wet shaving community is a very, very knowledgeable bunch. Very knowledgeable when it comes to shaving. Some people are uh, so passionate about it. And that's great. Yeah, keep the comments coming. They're fantastic, some of them. Okay, three passes done. Wow. Not much to pick up at all. Okay, I'll just rinse off and we'll come back and do the pickups. Okay, back for the pickups and we shall scoop what's left of the soap in the brush. Scoop it out of the brush, apply it to my face. I'll have a little feel about it. If there's any place I want to get more close, I shall do that now. Okay, that feels nice. What I'll do it, I'll just rub the rest of the soap into my face, then I'll have it rinse off with some hot water, cold water, and I'll come back for the post shave. Okay. Nice shave. Very nice. Happy with that, really happy. Okay. Post shave. Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Um, I mentioned in the last shave about this having alcohol in it, so no, not one best thing. I have used it in the past, and it's uh, it's given me a little bit of a, a tingle, but not today. Not after using that mild razor, perhaps. Fantastic. I'll have a bit of witch hazel after my shave. Ah, very nice. Ah, okay, while that's drying in, let's go over again what we've used today. We started the shave with the Prorasso White Pre-Shave. Um, the brush today was the little Blonde Samog 610, the Boar Brush. Excellent brush. Um, if you've not tried bore brushes, if you get one and you're not sure about it at the start, please, please stick with it and keep using it because it will get softer and it's fantastic. Uh, the soap today, great soap, Razor Rock for New York. That was absolutely pathetic. <laughs> like a bad Bugs Bunny. Um, <laughs> but it was a great soap, performed really well, nice aquatic, citrusy scent. Very good, very, very good. The razor today, the Wilkinson Sword Classic. Nice, mild razor, very good. Gives a good shave. Two piece, nice weight to it. it has some metal in the handle here, as you can see. Uh, the cap's all enclosed, so there's no overhang. No danger of catching your ear. But it, there is still a bit of blade exposure there. And it gives a wonderful shave. Great razor for beginners, for beginners, not them. Great razor for beginners and seasoned shavers alike. Very good. Uh, and the blade that was inside that was a brand new Paul Silver Super Iridium. And Shavathon, you were right. It's a very very smooth blade, um, even on my moustache area. He did say you'd be able to go against the grain, no problem with the, the Paul Silver, and it did work. So thank you. We then rinsed off with hot and cold water and applied some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel with aloe vera, great stuff. And I'm going to finish it off with some fine American blend. This is a, 
a barber shop type scent. Very, very nice. Just a splash of that. Oh, fantastic. Oh, what a scent. It's got a little bit of menthol in it, which you can feel cooling your skin. Really nice. Very good. <sighs> Lovely. And I'm going to finish it off with some of the Vaseline Intensive Care Aloe Soothe. And this has with micro droplets of Vaseline Jelly. This is a uh, good stuff, this. Um, I just need a, a tiny little bit. Probably that much. And yeah, it doesn't have a strong scent, but it's just to put the moisture back in and it rubs in easily. And look at my skin, it's absolutely glowing. <laughs> nice. And uh, the smell of the fine is still coming through the barber shop scent, which is great. Kevy shaves, happy again. Excellent shave. Very nice. Irritation free. No little nicks or cuts. Very good. Okay, that's all for me for today. Uh, for today's shave, uh, the menthol is kicking in now. My eyes are <laughs> went a bit watery, but that's okay. Yeah, looks great. Very nice, very pleased with that shave. Very comfortable. Okay, uh, please keep the comments coming. Thank you very much for all your support, uh, all your, the new subscriptions and stuff. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Um, have yourselves an excellent weekend, whatever you're doing. Spend it with loved ones, chill out, relax. Yeah, just do what you're doing. And I think it's uh, Labor Day weekend in the States, so it's a, kind of like a public holiday. Would that be right? I don't know. I think it is. Um, so what are you doing over the Labor, Labor Day weekend? Have fun, enjoy it. Um, like I say, spend it with family, friends, with the ones you love. Have a good time, relax. And until the next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.